Travel, 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 that's the word I'm starting today's vlog with. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another Daily Juice. Welcome back to another day in our lives. Um, I asked, I asked it, no I didn't, I asked you guys this morning on my Instagram story what you wanted to see on today's vlog because I feel like it's important to, to check in with you guys now and then, see what you're enjoying on the videos, see what you want to see, see what you want us to talk about. Let me read some of the Oh, let me first explain why I was yeah, saying travel, was travel, travel. Can't just move on from that. Um, <laughs> let me see if I can balance the camera. I'm trying to find, oh, that was a little bit too far. I'm trying to find new angles. How's this? Dude, that's horrible. I think that's all right, you know. I think we can roll with that. So as you may or may not know, Lucy and I's morning routine usually consists of walking out there, making a cup of coffee. Comment below if you start your day of coffee. I think most of you guys do. We talk about coffee a lot in these vlogs and we always get comments whenever we mention coffee. I'm sweating today already, I'm hot. We make a cup of coffee. We then come and sit in this exact spot and watch three or four YouTube videos while we slowly wake up and drink a cup of coffee. Saying that out loud, I realize how lucky we are to be able to do that. That is, we, we don't take that for granted. That is such a nice way to wake up. I remember it years ago, waking up to an alarm very, very early and getting straight into a shower and then pretty much straight in the car and then driving to the office. Very, very different now, feeling very grateful to be able to choose our morning routine. Anyway, as part of our vlogs this morning that we watched, we watched one of our own videos from Japan and oh, I'll insert a few clips while I'm talking about it because we kind of remembered the videos we love to make. We kind of remembered the trips we love to do. We were so happy, we seemed so happy and so, carefree in these in this vlog it was our first time in osaka and lucy didn't we we loved this trip so so much there's so many highlights it was just so good yeah right so it was there was something about this particular video it was where we bought this lens and you could just see we were so excited to be in a new place tr eating the food seeing the sights mingling with the people pre-covid no masks and it was kind of weird to look back on but also amazing to look back on. We're so glad that we did it. So yeah, missing traveling a little bit this morning, but also super grateful. It's all about mindset. Choose your experience of reality. Read that somewhere online. That's deep, isn't it? Bit deep for two minutes in. Bit deep for two minutes in. Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would love to get back to Japan at some point. Lucy's just straightening her hair this morning. What else was I gonna talk about? Yeah, we um, asked you guys what you wanted to see on today's vlog, straight back to bed. So here are, the, here are some of the things. George Pranks Lucy. Hmm. George what? George pranks Lucy. Could do that. Lucy pranks George. Lucy pranks George. It's my birthday tomorrow as well. Time is a spider. Shut <laughs> up. Is that a prank already? <laughs> How did I fall for that straight away? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh... Fondest memory. Oh, it's not recording. Really not. None of that was recording. Why not? I have to do that whole bit again. It's not funny because it's, it's a prank on yourself. Why would I care if it wasn't recording? You'd, you'd have to repeat it, not me. Ah, oh, damn. Stop pranking Han. No, what? No, no, off the camera. I've just forgotten. You're such an idiot. Do you know what day it is? What? Third? Yeah. What's that? Do you not remember? No. We meant, meant to send that email already. No, you're such an <laughs> Such a bad liar, man. Okay, no, maybe we're not a prank channel. If you want a good prank channel, check out our friends Kim and Tom. Oh yeah, they're the king and queen of pranks. They are the king and queen. The keto the king, king and, and baby queen. Of yeah, they, they've got an awesome channel, Keto Family. <laughs> they've got an awesome baby. I think we're talking to them later, right? Yeah, we've we've got, FaceTime we've got a FaceTime scheduled in with our friends. Okay. 
you guys want to see a closet tour, we could do that. You want more condo updates, furniture shopping, that will be coming up. Fondest memories in the current apartment, Lucy and George's running route. Non-existent at the moment. We do a lot of walking, but we don't actually do running at the moment. What it's like for you guys living in Manila. Actually, you sent me an article yesterday. Um, yeah, Manila, Manila is now the second most expensive city in Southeast Asia. To rent. To rent. And third rent. most for cost of living. And third most for cost of living. Yeah. So Manila is now the second most expensive country in Southeast Asia to rent a place. And the third most expensive for cost of living. Yeah. So Singapore's first. For, I was, yeah. yeah, Singapore is number one. This was in Esquire magazine, PH. If you think living in Manila is expensive, you're not imagining things. In a survey of home rental prices across six cities in Southeast Asia, Philippine capital ranks second just behind Singapore. It's crazy. When, whenever we talk to our close friends at home, if we, we don't really discuss money and stuff really, we're British, Brit British people tend not to talk about money too much, but if we ever tell our friends what, you know, what we're paying for rent and stuff like that, that the most common reaction is, oh, okay, I thought it'd be cheaper. People, yeah, it's more expensive here than in our home country. Yeah, our previous flat in the UK was cheaper than what we pay to rent here. I mean, London, I would, pff, maybe London would be a tad more expensive some areas, but outside of London, I would say it was it would be similar prices to here. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. Should I curl it or straighten it? Straighten it. Okay, done. <laughs> That's easy. Look. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Wow. But we always say like it depends where you, it depends where you eat it depends where you shop but we say the places we kind of go to are like home prices aren't they the uk yeah, there's like the uk varies. restaurants we've got a few places that we go ah. Ooh. yeah i'd say some places we go to are much cheaper and there are a lot of cheaper options but i'd say on average we spend more per meal here than we would in our home in our hometown but obviously we have to remember it's a small town by the coast it's not london prices um, but it is quite expensive to live here. I think, what was the question? What, what do they want to know? What it's like to live here? Yeah, what it's kind of like for us living in Manila. As British people, I guess. Yeah, as British people. And I guess, so if you don't know already, we live in BGC at the moment. We're moving, we're still, is it called BGC still? Or is it Fort Bonifacio? We're moving to McKinley Hill. Um, so it's a similar area, but slightly different neighbourhood. And um, it's very convenient living here. We've done quite a few videos on the channel about um, like the differences compared to the UK, but I'd say there's a lot of things that are very convenient about living here There's a, a huge amount of choice when it comes to things to do restaurants cafes and Shops and malls and stuff. It's like yeah. it's like a bubble BGC. So I'd say it's like London On that point Philippines have finessed the mall game. Yeah Like <laughs> got it down got it down to a T in our hometown. We have to drive we've said this before on the vlog But yeah. I'll say it if you haven't heard us talk about it in our hometown, we have to drive about 20 minutes. I can smell burning from these. We have to drive about 20 minutes to our nearest shopping mall, which when we last went back to the UK, we thought was small. But growing up, that was our huge shopping center that we True. went to as an event. But when yeah. we, after we'd seen Philippine shopping malls and we went back to our one in the UK that we know and love, yeah. and it is good. It's it got a really big variety small. of shops, a few restaurants. Even say it's though. quite a nice location. It's not big. It's That's not big cool. at all. Um, so Philippines really does have the shopping mall game down to a T. That is one of our favourite things here. What else is it like though? How do we describe what it's like? What's it actually like to live here? Like, it's such it's a good It's good, question. it's very hot. How would you describe it? Very hot. We can't go out in certain times of the day. We have yeah. to think about that now. In the very UK, sunny. you never think about that. True. Um, it's convenient. You've got Grab, you've got Food Panda. Yeah, lots you, of apps. You can book a massage to come to your house. Yeah, there's lots of things to do here as well. So like there's often events and things happen. I mean, this is obviously more pre-COVID. Even like on the high street and Forbes Town. I mean, we're talking about BGC, but think about it. There's always events. There's always things in QC. There's always stuff to do here. It feels quite... I don't want to sound quite old saying this. Up and coming, hip, trendy. Wow, you using know? those words. But you're right, there's a creative community. Yeah. There's... It's very, uh, I've got a good word, it's very welcoming to everyone, very diverse. It's not like, um, what's the word when it's, cosmopolitan, would you say? Recently got these glasses, which are from Sunny's, oh, that is not gonna focus. These are from Sunny's Studios, and they are anti-blue light glasses, which we've been doing a lot of live streaming, we've been doing a lot of 
editing as always, a lot of screen time. We do a lot of our work and stuff on our phones. And of course, all our like social media scrolling throughout the day as well. And of course, lockdown, been watching a lot of Netflix. So Lucy and I have both been wearing these. Lucy has a pair as well. They kindly sent these over to us so we could show them in the vlogs and on our Instagram. So Sunny Studios, if you're interested, if you need some of these, if you're in the Philippines, check them out. Lightweight, pretty nice, right? Yeah. These are mine. Mine are way bigger than yours. So, like, so for example, in the reaction videos, Sorry, I'm messing up the rug. In the reaction videos at the moment, you would have seen us wearing these. Yes. Um, we've totally changed our look. So yeah, what's been going on? What's been going on? Not a lot, really. Not a lot, to be honest. It is my birthday tomorrow, um, and I'm 28, which is kind of two years away from 30, so that's, that's gonna be a- kind of. It's yeah, exactly two years that's, away from that's 30. That's gonna be a big thing, I guess. 30. How do you feel about becoming 28? Comment below if you're 30. Let me know how it is. Is it all right? Is it, should I be excited? Should I be dreading it? The way I, I feel exactly the same, Actually, no, that's not true anymore. How do you feel about becoming 28? Um, I don't, I'm, just, I'm just surprised that it's another birthday in lockdown. That's, that's, that's the thing. It's crazy, that's, that's, that's the team. Now. Yeah, uh, that's... What, what did I do for my birthday? Was I in lockdown? I don't know. Were you? Yeah, I but we were remember. able to... What did we do? We went somewhere oh, for your bungalow, birthday. Oh, and then we did sit Yeah, rooftop. we had a nice... Oh, yeah, it I was think just... it was like a strict lockdown. It was like a half lockdown. It was, it was kind of local, but at least we could do something for your birthday. I don't... I have, Lucy might have a few surprises up her sleeve. I, I do. don't know. I'm I just do. saying. All I want for my birthday is a burger. That's it. I just want to eat a burger on my birthday. We are going to vlog, right? Are we vlogging tomorrow? Yeah, we make a yeah. little, so little birthday video. you'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Casual, laid back, come back for the birthday vlog. But other than that, what have we been up to, Lucy? Not a lot. Netflix. Gaming, not Call of Duty. Not even Netflix, not even that recently. I feel like we've been busy doing other stuff, but I don't even know what. We've been putting a lot of time into our Facebook page, actually. Sorry, YouTube. Um, but we've been live streaming a lot. I, hit, into that. I hit 100k on TikTok. Lucy hit 100k on TikTok. We've been playing The Sims. We've been creating, we need to do that. Mm. Maybe tonight or something. Yeah, maybe. Continue with our little yeah. Sims. We did a three hour Sims stream the other day. Um, I think Lucy's gonna cook some food in a minute. That was another thing you guys wanted on the vlogs. Yeah. So let's flip back to you when Lucy's cooking some food. See what is see what's on the menu for today. Lunch? I didn't even that I wasn't is, that even is hungry. My hen. I wish, hungry now? I wish like, like in the vlogs you could cut out the pauses and just go straight to food. I'm pretty hungry, yeah. You're not. We've had some oats this morning. No, we haven't. The gym is still I closed. Made you an Oh, we didn't. Was oats yesterday? Yes. Right. A very memorable so omelette by no, the sound this of this. This is what happens in lockdown. I, I don't know what day it is. I don't know what I ate. I don't know what I did. All right, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Told me it's too no noisy for vlogging, which it is. You can hear the microwave in the background. I had these in our AirPods, and that is so weird. If you've never had these, You're the noise. Really Am I speaking quietly? The noise cancelling in these is insane. Like when I've got these in, I can't hear anything. So, so you might think it's a little bit strange that we're having oats at lunchtime. Am I speaking quietly? Yes. I can take one of these out so I can actually hear myself. But we decided we were eating a lot of bread. We were eating a lot of sourdough and we thought for a couple of days, maybe a week, we'll switch it up and have our carbs as oats. This is delicious, we got in here. We had breakfast though, we Peanut. had an omelette for breakfast. Oh yeah, we've already had an omelette for breakfast, so this is kind of like a, a lunchtime thing, I guess. We've got banana, chia seeds, desiccated coconut. Desiccated coconut. Frozen strawberry, I don't want to tip it because I might spill it. You already filmed it, so. Oh yeah, I already filmed it. Cacao nibs, frozen strawberries, sunflower seeds, oats, and almond milk a lot of goodness in one bowl without it being too sugary. Sometimes like smoothie bowls and smoothies and oats and things, you put too many fruits and things, you have too much sugar. But this is quite a nice mixture. Then of course, still got the green drink, which we're still having every day, which is a ton of stuff. I don't really know, it comes in a powder. And we've, we've shown this on the vlog a few days ago. It's not the tastiest in the world. It's got loads of greens, fred vegetables, spirulina, all that stuff that's apparently good for you, all in here, also turmeric. So as we said earlier, it's George's birthday tomorrow, so make sure you head over to his Instagram page, leave him a little message, because I think the day this vlog goes live will be his actual birthday. And um, we've got a few plans for tomorrow. Obviously it's hard when living together, um, trying to do things in secret, but I do have a few things up my sleeve. Very excited to show you guys soon. You'll actually see something we're doing tonight in the next vlog. Um, I've got a little surprise planned, just something small, something cute. Um, obviously another quarantine, another lockdown birthday, so nothing crazy. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do anything like the awesome boat ride we did for Mike's birthday. That was so fun. I was hoping to do something 
like more like an activity but unfortunately we are in the lockdown so we'll be sticking to the rules we'll be staying we'll be staying put where we are but we hope you enjoyed this little vlog today it's been a classic lockdown day it's been a little bit of grocery shopping a little morning walk uh some nice food a bit of cleaning a little bit of editing a little bit of facebook stuff so we hope you enjoyed it i'll just show you these quickly i also got these rings off of shopee as well as well as my hairband look how cool they are they look kind of fancy even though they were really cheap and this one like a tulip on and this hair clip they were like 30 pesos each or something crazy they're from china they were shipped here uh it took a little while to get here but they were so cheap just little like what do you call it when it's not fancy jewelry when it's like character jewelry no what's it called costume, costume jewelry well done Barda, how did you know that I georgie's had a lot of costume no. jewelry apparently <laughs> that's a story for another time i'm joking um did i ever show my painting finished so I finished my wave, my current wave I did. Here we are, what do you guys think? Really enjoyed doing this actually, I will probably frame it or something. And I've just recently started another one here, but it's only just like the base coat at the moment. So what I often do with paintings, I let them dry and then I come back to them like a day later with like a fresh uh, dry canvas um, so I can really layer up and the paints don't mix or anything. So enjoying painting a little bit at the moment so anyway we are going to end this video here if you enjoyed it today please give a big thumbs up i know it's very uh youtubery just saying like give it a thumbs up subscribe but it genuinely does help us a thumbs up i think i don't really know i believe helps to tell youtube that you enjoy these videos and hopefully pushes them to more people and also subscribing as well really helps us out the notification bell comments any kind of interaction any shares anything you can do um, really supports the channel and really helps us out to get these videos in front of more people um, but we appreciate you guys that come back every day when we said recently in the vlog who has watched every video this week there were hundreds of comments hundreds maybe a lot of comments from people saying that they watch every single video and they have done for a long time so genuinely thank you so much to you guys we really appreciate your support and it's awesome that you can come back every single day i can't believe we upload every day still <laughs> and we have done for years now um and you guys come back every day so really 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 appreciative the fact that we're a part of your lives the fact that we get to spend some time together in the day is really awesome so thanks again for watching and we'll see you very soon on jordy's birthday in another daily juice goodbye